national security laws of many countries, it makes secession, subversion, terrorist activity and collusion with foreign forces to endanger national security a crime. The civil unrest has since subsided and the residents can enjoy their lawful rights and freedoms. People are now free to travel without fearing for their personal safety. Vigilantism are no longer prevalent and people are free to express different views openly and people are more respectful of the rights of others whilst exercising their own. In short, Hong Kong has reverted to a safe, rational, inclusive and vibrant society. Chen said that riots in Hong Kong in 2019 caused dangerous attacks on civilians. China's National People's Congress enacted a new law last June to stop violence, subversive and terrorist activities which pose a serious threat to national security. The national security law has been effective in restoring law and order and safeguarding national security. It has provided the necessary conditions for maintaining the long-term prosperity and stability of Hong Kong and enables Hong Kong residents to enjoy their rights and freedoms in a safe and peaceful environment. The measures are conducive to the rule of law, the protection of human rights and the successful implementation of the one country, two systems policy. This is in the long-term interests of both the country and the two systems.